All right, everyone, who's up for a Friday reading? Let's do it. I thought I'd show you this. I always cut the cards before I do this reading, or most readings, you know, and then I shuffle for a pre-shuffle sometimes. We don't usually do a pre-shuffle here, but this is after the cut. Because in this reading, we ask what they're thinking and feeling. I got Kurt Cobain in pain here. And there's a lot of tension around this Three of Swords, I might add. You know, I don't joke about anything. It's not in the energy. Kurt Cobain was a fidgety guy, a fidgety little fella. With a lot of nervous tension around him. There's a lot of nervous tension here. It really is Kurt Cobain in pain. What they're thinking and feeling. Let's do a Friday reading. Let's give the deck a shuffle here. One card for each sign. No clarifiers. All right. We ask the universe to tell us if it will. If it will. What the incoming energy is thinking and feeling. What's going on. You know, Could be new soulmate. Could be long lost runner. You're, everybody's here for somebody else. You, you might be here for somebody you don't even know yet. Uh, pay attention to every card that falls on the table. There's text at the top of the description that explains why there's no time stamps here. Because I'm not your fucking astrologer. This is just dividing the soulmate cycle up into 12 pieces. About 9 out of the 12 should resonate with you. It's a general reading. The whole thing might not resonate with you. Or it could just be one thing I say. I don't know. But at the end of the day, this reading is timeless. Whenever you find it, you're meant to find it. There's no guarantee you get anything when you ask what somebody's thinking and feeling. If it's not for your greater good, or the greater good of the energy, you know, the universe won't try to knock energy out of balance. It tries to balance it. Right? So if it's not for the greater good, that's out of balance. Let's go. Overall energy of everything that's going to fall on the table here on our Friday reading of card. We've been getting a lot of lately. Uh, Six of Pentacles. And it shouldn't surprise you, that nervous tension, if you watched the uh, Venus reading. For sure. Um... Yeah, Six of Pentacles. Um, somebody, everybody's person probably wants to give to this. I mean, they probably do. Underneath that is temperance. You know, somebody's coming to some... Well, they're having a bit of a come to Jesus with themselves, I would imagine. With this, with the way I feel this energy, having a bit of a come to Jesus. Like, hey, what, am I, what have I been given to? My feelings all lie over here. Or what this connection showed them. You, you, all of you with your connections, you open something up in these very shut down... Uh, on the very shut down DM side of this cycle for sure. All right, let's go. Our reading is here on the other side on the flip. Uh, our story begins with Aries, position one. You could put the signs to it if you want. I wouldn't for my reading, but I do it so people can keep track, you know, that kind of thing. Whatever, however you want to use the reading, uh, but it's not your horoscope. Um, Aries is here, position one. Our, our story ends with Pisces, position 12. About nine out of the 12 should resonate with you. All right, try to watch the reading neutral. Let's go. Where's our story start here? Aries, position one. Seven of Cups. Somebody very confused about their feelings. Somebody's very confused. This energy is confusing whoever this energy belongs to, this incoming energy. Our story begins with a lot of confusion. A lot. There's no doubt about it. Um... I'm not clarifying, so we'll find out more as we keep going. But I imagine if you, once you have a come to Jesus with yourself and you realize you've been, why have I been given to the wrong things? It can be a little confusing. It takes a high vibrational person to admit they're wrong and change direction, which is why most people never do. Because most people are not high vibrational, which is why I always tell you, don't be like most people. Most people are fucking idiots. You never want to be most people, okay? Um... Confusion. Fine. Uh, Taurus, position two. Eight cups. Mm, that card tried to fly out while I was shuffling, by the way. Um, it's not eight cups. It feels like eight cups. I know somebody yelled, that's five cups deep. It's not eight cups. It feels like eight cups. And I saw it as eight cups when it tried to fly out while I was shuffling. Or was it the eight cups that tried to fly out and I confused the energy? Doesn't matter. Freudian slip, very important. Somebody's feeling the loss here, and they feel your energy slipping away. Okay? Somebody realizes the mistake they've made. I think they're admitting that to themselves. Okay? That's good. Uh, which, again, leads to confusion. Oh, well, here's the mistake I made. Oh, shit. I've been picking the gold ones. Yeah. Yeah, you have. Okay. Position three, Gemini. That's very cool. I love it when that happens. Because, obviously, I know what these cards are. You know? I don't need to read what it is. 
Devil. No, just kidding. I'm just joking. It's Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> I had to do that. It was a perfect setup. Ace of Pentacles. Uh, this person here is making a new start. Whoever this is, somebody here is thinking and feeling that whatever you showed them or you are their hope for the future. You're their fucking Obi-Wan. Can I put it that way? Whether they come towards you or not, you're their fucking Obi-Wan. You really are. They'll, they'll, they're like their, their hope, their whatever you showed them, what a future could be, what it could be. I mean, this is just beautiful. It ties with every reading I've done for this angle, okay, which would be the Gemini angle. It, very nice. Uh, cancer. Position four. Slice number four of our 12 slice pie. The hot spot of the connection cycle. It bookends confusion. This ought to be interesting. This should be definitely for everybody on some level. All you got to do is catch my drift. That's all. King of Wands. Yeah. Um, somebody's ego is getting in the way here. Somebody's ego. I said, I don't say anything or joke about anything that's not in the energy. And I said earlier, it takes a high vibrational person to admit they're wrong. This person here is having a hard time with that. Okay, having a hard time admitting that they've been picking the wrong things. I definitely feel somebody here who's ashamed of their behavior, knows that they behave badly. I would say what they're thinking and feeling is they wish they could do it over, and if they could, they'd do it better. Or they might be saying, or they might be saying to themselves, "It's possible." Just the way I feel the energy, I translate it into words. It's possible they could be saying to themselves, "I handled this poorly." Okay, they're at least admitting it to themselves, but it's this ego energy that's preventing forward movement. Okay, I think it's temporary. I wish I could clarify. Tomorrow in the weekly reading, we ask what actions they're likely to take, and we clarify. Let's just get a feel for what they're thinking and feeling here. Friday reading is a nice setup for that. Uh, Leo, position five, the Leo soap opera, which I pulled this week. I'll tell you, yeah, I was not surprised by that. Uh, page of wands somebody here off on new adventure somebody's very excited about what the future might hold in, 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 in absolutely there's more to come for you in this connection okay if you identify with the leo soap opera if that resonates with you no matter what sign you are someone in a toxic relationship uh, they just decided to stay in it or refused to admit that it was toxic for a long time whatever whatever it is right now there's more to come that's that more to come energy for you and this person um, there is, there's something else on, on your path. Your paths come together again very soon. Um, I think they're very excited about the prospect of that. Uh, or just new adventures in their life in general. It's possible. Virgo, position six. Sometimes, sometimes my wild card spot could be you guys showing up. You got to show up somewhere here. You're part of the cycle. I'm trying to pull on the incoming energy, but I'm not a, you know, warlock on the hill or a time lord or whatever. Justice. The energy around you, all of you, is very balanced. Much more balanced than you realize. This is an, I'm going to do a very strange read on this card because I know this energy. Okay, so I'm going to kind of riff on it a little bit. It's not really a typical read for justice. Okay, I'm just going to tell you because this is you guys. You are reflecting here. Um, it may seem there's been this message of change in the readings for a long time now, and it's grown. It's grown stronger in recent readings. Okay, it goes all the way back to like October. All right, there's been a lot more going on behind the scenes than you realize. Okay, the jury's been out. The jury's been deliberating. They've actually been getting some work done. Seems like forever where you're waiting for the verdict where you're waiting for this change to happen. There's a lot that's been going on behind the scenes. All right, uh, The jury's about to come in on that, okay? Very, very soon, for sure. The energy around you is, is getting just right. It's balancing nicely, all right? So have some temperance, all right? There's a lot. The change energy is there. It is happening. Uh, it's a, most of it is hidden, and I talked about that. I talked about that in the first quarter my first quarter of 2024 reading, if you watched it, if you're one of the few who did, uh, I don't know why that's not a more popular reading. It sets the stage for everything I'm going to pull, but whatever. People do what they want to do. Okay. Uh, I said the first quarter of the year is a lot going on under the surface, and it comes up to the surface very quickly in Q2 of the year. Okay. But it's starting to make its way to the surface, that change energy where you can see it, feel it, and live it. Uh, Libra, position seven. King of Pentacles. Mm. 
somebody has the, somebody attached to you has themselves convinced that they're okay they're fine everything's cool I'm good I got everything I need it's bullshit if I could clarify that I promise you there'd be a seven of swords on that son of a bitch somewhere or a devil energy but they're just convinced that that you know we, we do this all the time this is this is the number one this type of energy this frequency of energy that's this particular one that's reflecting off the king of pentacles here is the same reason people stay in bad relationships you know they they could they find some one good thing about it to cling to and they blow it up like a huge balloon and they stay in it because it's easier right okay somebody's taking the easy way here i'm telling you it's bullshit they're not fine you're consuming their thoughts all right and emotions i will tell you that uh scorpio my hot scorpios position eight knight of pentacles this is your energy attached to this well you do have an energy slowly coming towards you uh, but I, I would rather talk about the other energy that's here which is your energy attached to this things are going to feel maybe for the next week or so maybe a little more i'm not a fucking time lord maybe for the next week or two things are going to feel like they're in slow motion your life is going to feel like it's in slow motion uh, almost i'm not even going to say an instant replay Although for some of you, it might. Things might repeat uh, and feel like it's an instant replay, you know, where they show the play again kind of a thing. Um, but things are going to feel like they're in slow motion for you, but they are moving. Pay attention to what I said here, okay? Because your energy is attached to that. All right, Things are actually moving. There is an energy coming towards you, though. Very, very steadily. Straight line course. Head-on collision with some soul connection or soul's true purpose. Either way, could cut either way. Uh, Sexitarians. Uh, position nine. Sometimes separate from the cycle, sometimes not. Let's see. Let's hope I don't have to give you a lecture. It's real early here. Uh, Ace of Swords. It's a sarcastic energy. It's very strange to say that about the Ace of Swords. I'll tell you what it is. You have an energy attached to you. It is one specific energy. You may or may not be aware of this or not, but somebody thinks they got you all figured out. They've had some kind of epiphany about you, and they think they have you all figured out. I'm going to tell you, I'm not clarifying, but I'm going to tell you that they're fucking dead wrong. They're, dead. they're way off. Okay, I think this energy might approach you. Would I it could be for business? It could be for love. I, I have no idea. I'm just getting somebody thinks they got it figured out, and I don't think they do. Pay attention to some of the recent readings I pulled. Uh, there's some of that Venus energy here as well, and we've had uh, other readings where it looks like somebody's coming towards you, and they haven't. You know, so some of the all signs readings. It looks like somebody's coming towards you, but they, but they, and they think they got it figured out, but they don't. It's that kind of energy. This is very specific to you, though. Uh, they think they, they think they know you, but they don't. Right? Mm. Sort of like that old. What's, what's that? People used to say all the time. Don't act like you know me. Right? Like that. It's sort of that. That's sort of from your angle. All right. Anyway, position very interesting. Be interesting in the weekly reading tomorrow to see what actions they take. I might write that one down. Yours is always very interesting. Uh, position 10, Capricorn, Eight of Swords. You got somebody attached to you. It's very self explanatory. Somebody's overthinking a conversation they want to have with you. Somebody's overthinking you. They're overthinking it. That's all I get. They're thinking about emotions, and then they're thinking about themselves thinking about emotions, and then they're thinking about that, and it's going around in a big circle. Somebody feels like their hands are tied. There's nothing I can do. I hate, man. You know, the advice I would give this energy is just say hello. Somebody, it, it, they really have a lot of love. There's a lot of love here. And, and they feel like the feelings they have for you are keeping them trapped, keeping them stuck in sort of a limbo. Now nah, they're doing it to themselves, all right? So you shouldn't feel any guilt over that. You got nothing to feel about that. They're doing it to themselves. They're just overthinking. That's all. We'll see what actions they take tomorrow in the weekly reading or watch some of the other readings, the Venus reading and all that kind of stuff. would be surprised if all of you heard from your person. That wouldn't surprise me based on the energy that's around. But it's interesting to see what they're thinking and feeling. And the universe seems pretty liberal with the energy today. It seems to want to let me take a glimpse in, dive into it, riff on it even. Uh, position 11, Aquarius. My other wild card position, so you guys may show up here again. 
If so, it'll tie a little bit to what I said for Virgo, but again, it'll probably be for all of you if that's the case. The Ace of Cups. <sighs> now, why did I do that? Why would I breathe like that? For the, it sounds like it's a terrible card, right? It sounds like I pulled the Ace of Cups reversed or something, you know, something that doesn't work. No, it's, it's an Ace of Cups. It's okay. It's fine. I'm just going to... Hmm. It's it's not really love. This is very strange to say. Um, this is not. See, there's this little leak in the cup here, right? Somebody's going to blurt something out to you, and it's not going to seem like love. It's not going to seem like they like you, but they actually do. It reminds me of like I talk about this all the time. Like in fifth grade, when a boy likes a girl, he might hit the girl or something, or chuck something at her, or spitball, or do something stupid like that. It's a bit like that. It's very childish on some level. Um, what someone's thinking and feeling is they have a lot of feet. There you have an energy attached to you that has a lot of feelings for you, but they don't know how to process them. They don't understand it, right? Like that fifth grade boy, right? Kind of a thing. It's a bit like that. All right. Maybe they just figure they don't want to. It's almost like somebody's thinking and feeling they don't want to like you. Uh, okay. All right. Fine. So it's not for all of you, but. It is, it is my wild card position, so it's going to be for a good number of you. Um, Pisces, position 12, the end of our little story. It's always read with position 1, the end of a good book, ties to the beginning, ties everything together. Uh, so we got a Seven of Cups here, and for some reason, which I've given up trying to figure out fully, I understand partially, uh, you're tied to the position 5, the Leo position here. So we got a Page of Wands, a Seven of Cups and a Ten of Pentacles. Somebody here is taking flight from their life. You have an energy attached to you that is put, wants a whole new Ten of Pentacles, making new choices, pretty excited about new adventures. Uh, if this position, if you identify with this position, if this resonates with you, no matter what your sign is, pay very, 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 very close attention to my Venus reading that I just pulled. Okay? Very close attention to it. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's have the universe add all this up. Add it up. Oh my God, I did not know this. I showed you Kurt Cobain in pain, the three of swords that came after the cut with the light seer. I didn't know this. I, I didn't look. Three swords at the bottom of the card of, of, of the deck, the witches I'm going to use to add all this up. That's unreal. Look, take it to heart. Everybody here's person is heartbroken on some level. Some of them are fooling themselves. I saw it right here for sure. I feel that. Somebody here admitting that it's all their fault they fucked it up and that puts them in a deep sadness on some level mm. all right i think though this energy here wants to stop uh, uh, almost all of these energies but particularly around this this card here which was kind of a crazy one where i called it the eight of cups <laughs> and it's a five of cups um this energy here wants to fix this and doesn't want you to get away they realize your importance for sure all right, let's have the universe add all this up. Coincidences aside, of which there's no such thing. The Three of Swords was at the bottom of this deck for a reason. I did not know that was there. It blew my mind when I picked it up. All right, three cards and a bottom card. Let's have the universe add all this up. What's the incoming energy thinking and feeling? Give it to me, universe. What are they thinking and feeling? What is happening here? Um, okay, so when this happens, I've got... Two bottom cards. The deck split. It blew up into two pieces. I grabbed the chunk that flew out. I've got two bottom cards, two environmental energies, the Empress and the Ace of Swords. Um, they're all sort of realizing the attraction. Can I, I'll just phrase it that way. Okay? They're all realizing the attraction. Now, this was the main lot, so I'm going to pull the three off the top here. Yeah, there's the Eight of Cups. The card that, again, I felt here is right there. And that's why I don't do anything in these readings. Say, do, joke about anything that's not part of the energy. Why did I go back and reflect on this while I was shuffling for the add, for, for the add them up cards? Here it is. First card out. Eight Cups, which was tied to that. Uh, it's a very important position. Um, King of Cups. And what's red with the Eight of Cups? The Eight of Pentacles. I'm going to take the Empress. The Ace of Swords comes with it. It's just really talking about the epiphany. 
the truth. There's a lot of epiphanies happening right now. We talked about that in the mid-month reading. It's happening on the other side too, not just for you. Uh, but, for, but for the other side, for the incoming energies, it's a realization that they either want love or they want what this connection makes them feel or just realizing the attraction, admitting it. Admitting it, which is something a lot of them never fucking did. Um, which is, you know, or did and then shut down. Now they can't shut it down. Uh, they can't. Speaking of which, they can't distract themselves. The Eight of Pentacles. All of them thinking and feeling, trying to distract themselves with anything. Taking up a new hobby, whatever it is, anything. Mowing the lawn, anything to distract themselves from the fact that the fucking Empress is getting away. That you're moving towards your Nine Cups and they'd love to go with you. Right here. Somebody here thinking about sharing their feelings. It's the best I can say with this King of Cups. They're thinking about it. Okay? The, try, this whole trying to distract thing. I don't think they can distract themselves. I don't think they can. I'm going to take the other deck. The other half. The one that's split. And I'm going to go ahead. And I'm going to pull a card on top. They want a second chance. Judgment. The Emperor and the Empress. Divine Couple. And the Four of Wands. Distract yourself all they want. You're the path they'd like to take, that they'd like a second chance with. Judgment is red with the uh, Four of Wands. As far as the Emperor goes, it's a divine masculine that's thinking about opening up their feelings. These are powerful connections. This is a divine couple. The Emperor and the Empress right here. The Emperor wants a second shot. And I did that for a reason. The deck split for a reason. I showed you the two bottom cards. I pulled the other half with the Ace of Swords at the bottom right from the top and laid them right in position. Wow. It's pretty wild. I love that the Emperor came out there. That's awesome. Nobody can distract themselves, okay, from the fact, I said about this, they're trying to distract themselves from the fact that you're walking away towards your nine cups and they'd like to walk with you. Yeah, they would. They'd like a second chance, judgment, and again, walk with you. This is about the pathway to the Ten of Pentacles. And our little story here ended with Ten Pentacles. How about that? You know, that all matters. I'm not your astrologer. This is not your horoscope. There's no fucking time stamps here. This is just the soulmate cycle split into 12 little pieces so we can take a look at it, like looking at it through a microscope. That's all. And this is the universe adding it all up, what they're thinking and feeling. Tomorrow's reading, we ask what actions they're likely to take. We ask the universe to be predictive for the week ahead, and we clarify. So we do the same thing, but we clarify. Should be very interesting. Should be a very interesting week, I'll tell you. That's your reading. Especially since it's the week after Valentine's Day and we all saw my Valentine's Day reading. Usual bullshit. Alright, that's your reading. I hope it was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. Good luck.